You've asked for it time and time and time again. As a matter of fact, I went through the community section and the comments section, and just to see how much this was requested, it scared me. It legit scared me how much this had been requested. You know what this is. It's the Nostalgia Critics review of Son of the Mask. Sequel to the much beloved and much... Eh. Much... Medium beloved. Uh, Just much loved and much admired Ma The Mask movie with Jim Carrey, which there's actually a complimentary piece to this that we'll probably watch next time. Uh, but this right here, dude. It's it's the thing it, that happened. and I watched like 10 minutes of it. You made it through 10 minutes? We've never seen it. I'm afraid. I, 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 I was Nita afraid. Felt Michael, why haven't... Michael. Nita felt Micah. There's too many L's in there. Why haven't you saved us from this? Why did you let this happen to us? Uh, isn't that technically a graven <laughs> image? You Don't no. you touch him. No. <laughs> Elaine, <laughs> no. He's pretty Well, he's I guess pretty. technically so long so as you so don't long. worship the needle felt Micah in place of the, the one true Micah. Actually, that needs to be a thing. Hmm. Like, it's sitting back there on the table behind me, and, like, every time it cuts away from me, it gets closer and closer and closer. Next We're thing you know, some... it's on my neck, and it's just like, it's just like, it just whispers in my ear. It just goes, you will bleed out. And then, and then next thing you know, it cuts, I, it cuts away, and I'm like, know. ah! What kind of horrible... I... Do not talk this way about needle felt Micah. Is this good. is getting into some weird actually, theological actually, ne discussions. No, I know what it could be. Neil felt Micah. It'd just be like Neil felt Micah. You're a you're a bad copy of the original. Yeah, well, that's just like your know. opinion, man. <laughs> Look at him. He's got the dead eyes. Yeah. I trust well, he's got him. the tired dead eyes, just like just like They're just like Micah does. I was just gonna say you look like you look like a, a libertarian version of Tommy Chong. You know what he's doing right now? Oh, you gonna learn today? He's, he's flipping, he's you, flipping off. you off. <laughs> double deuce. The, the double deuce. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say double yeah. kickstand. Which, which one do you prefer, pom pom? He doesn't Ooh. have fingers, but that's what's happening. Pom pom right. prefers the single. So, deuce. so let's, so let's, uh, let's get into this. Get, before, do it before just, we go just... any more insane. Oh my! God. Proper way to begin. Wow. I feel like this. Hey. Uh, oh hey. Oh, it's the devil. We're going to the scary apartment building. What's up, Malcolm? Where the devil lives. Minions of hell, I give to you your one and only master, the Lord of Darkness, Satan. <laughs> That's good, Doug. That's, that's good work. My trembling subject. For a while, you've known that I've kept the reveal of my daughter's secret. Well, no more. It is time for you to witness the true terror of the Antichrist. The horror of my offspring. What? The undeniable evil that will destroy what's left of your souls. What? Ah! Behold, pitiful maggots. The fearsome face of darkness. My little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. And we've already seen her before in the Cat in the Hat review. Mm -hmm. Be back. Oh, my little pony. My princess of pestilence, what's wrong with you? This isn't the little hell spot I raised. Fluttershy loves you. What is this fecal matter you call Fluttershy? And what's all this talk of friendship and love and kindness? Friendship is magic, Daddy. Get me my wife on the phone! What's happening? What? Wait, what? Careful. Rachel? Sure. Hello, Kim Kardashian. What in the hell have you done to our daughter? Look, all I know is that all that TV you've been showing her has resulted in her spinning her head and puking ecto-cooler. That's what she's supposed to do. She's the seed of evil. So I decided to show her some more age-appropriate programming, like My Little Pony, <gasps> Care Bears, <gasps> Dora the Explorer, <gasps> Frats. Okay, that's not too bad. And Thomas <laughs> You whore of no virtue. One more outbreak like this. 
this. Now take away your artificial husband. Actually, that's fine. I think the one you gave me is broken. Well, no matter. It'll take something much more potent to get our little girl back to normal. Like what? Oh, I created something long ago. A children's film is so frightening and so disturbed that no child could watch it without being scarred for life. Bring me Son of the Mass. I got rid of it. What? I thought it'd be too scary for her, so I threw it into the human world. Sirs is nine balls! You threw it into the human world? <gasps> wow. Mankind is not ready for something so depraved. God help the poor soul who comes across that nightmare of Satan. Nine. Don't worry. Three I balls per head. I where nobody would look. Well, if it's in a public garbage can, it must be worth reviewing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doug. My God. That was a public garbage can. That was. was reviewing. <laughs> Good juxtaposition. That had production value to it. I like that. Nostalgia, horrible, now, horrible dance. So you don't have to. We all remember the mid-90s comedy, The Mask. One of the first films to work in the growing popularity of computer effects <clears> to <throat> more cartoony nature as opposed to threatening. So it was a decent flick, with the mask character for the kids and Carrie's straight man routine for the adults. And on top of that, it made a lot of money. So much so that a sequel had been in the works for eons. It was mentioned in interviews. Ten million dollars for doing the mask too. Online forums. There was even a Nintendo Power contest for it. Yes, and there was. That to be a great prize. Wait years later for a contest you forgot you entered to get dragged to a set that has no Jim Carrey, no Cameron Diaz. Even the dog I think was friggin' dead by this point. Oh. But hey, at least we have Randy from Scream. Here's your refund. Yeah, here's here's your refund. Where the mask had a leaning towards kids and adults, Son of the Mask is most definitely a kid's film. Even the advertisements show pretty much nothing but the dog and baby scenes. But it's not only a half-ass sequel without half the asses of the original cast, it's a downright strange, freaky little drive into someone's poisoned outlook as to what family entertainment is. It's a miserable experience that I'm sure you want to see me go through. Well, if I'm going, I'm taking you with me! Run, Son of the Mask! So we start Don't in Edge City, where the first film left off. Hmm. We enter a museum that literally has the only cast member from the last movie, Ben, ben Stein. Stein. Wow. And seriously, was it even worth getting him? It's like making Ghostbusters 3 and the only cast member you bring in is the lamp from scene 22. Though, I like to be that fair, lamp. the lamp would give a much more stunning performance than Stein. Who's that ugly guy? That's Loki, Norse god of mischief. And Loki's ultimate tool of mischief was this. The mask. So just as he's talking about uh, Loki, what a kawinky dink! Loki himself is not wrong. Played by <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> he's almost as silly looking as the Avengers Loki, but not quite. This is a fake. Harsh. Yes, but it's a good fake. Ow. And you're about to see <laughs> the number one problem with this film. Uh, what, what, are, what are you doing? This is one of many shit your pants disturbing images. Granted, anything dismembering Ben Stein is usually a plus, but I'd rather be able to watch it as opposed to run out of the theater in my urine soaked. Yeah. Tent. So the real mask is in the river just outside of Fringe City, which is so similar to Edge City, you'll be asking yourself why the fuck didn't they just keep it in Edge City? And is picked up by the not dog from the first movie, yet looks so identical to him so that the kids can see the trailer and say, oh look, even the Jack Russell Terrier wanted more money than they were willing to shell out. Wow. <laughs> they found other performers who were willing to take less, like Jamie Kennedy, who I swear has set his acting to permanent nasally whine. I know you're upset, okay? Slow down, you know I can't run and apologize at the same time. Can I ask you one question? Look at all this stuff. I can't go with this. Even when he's talking normal, it sounds like he's whining. Honey, come here. Because? And they say, what does your daddy do? Who's the pig? On top of that, he falls into that common category of badly written characters, of the overreacting man-child who never listens, never cares, and yet somehow gets an over-understanding, bland, underwritten okay. hot chick. 
Why just look at what goes through his mind when somebody says baby. It's a boy. And a girl. Twins? Girl. Wow, they made the uh, Octomom. Uh, 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 uh. They made the Octomom right joke before Jimmy Kimmel. That'll get the kids coming in. Dang. Can see son of the mist. A family picture. I'm not saying I don't want to have a baby. I'm just saying I don't want to have a baby right now. So while Jamie doesn't want to spend all that time and attention on a kid, like he clearly fucking does for his dog. Seriously, even Gromit doesn't have as much dog-related shit in his room. We get our first look at what the hell? No! Hey, it's Bob Hoskins. Yosemite Sam Winkle. Actually, that's Bob Hoskins as Odin. Probably thankful for his retirement whenever he pops this movie in. That mask is causing enough mischief and malfeasance among the mortals. This is your mess, and you will clean it up. Arthur, king of the Britons, <laughs> the rest of the round table shall have a task to make them an example in these dark times. Good idea, oh lord. Of course it's a good idea. So Jamie works at an animation the studio, which happens to be hosting a Halloween party. Seeing how his costume got ruined, he grabs the mask his dog found, and I'll give you one sanity tormenting guess what happens. Oh my god. Like they made DNA syrup out of the Jolly Green Giant and Conan O'Brien. Oh. So he torturously lightens up the party. So, it'd be one thing if he stuck his STD-ridden dick in just one musical style, but this asshole decides to ruin not two, not three, not four, but five different musical styles. And each one is worse than the last. I love you, baby. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off you. Okay, can you just tell everybody to take five steps back away from the yeah, white angle? I'm having, I'm like sinking back in my chair. Because you can't pornography when you face that that's close to the camera. You mm. too good to Oh yeah, can you see all the dancers behind me? Aren't they great? Not last long, lovers arrive. I thank the Lord I'm alive. God. Like an alien horse trying to French me. At least the first mask knew Jim Carrey's face was scary enough from a distance. It didn't need to face hump the camera every chance it got. My God, it's still going! I swear, this we're, thing goes yeah, we're gonna be here what feels like a fucking eternity, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. Or just uh, look at my wrist. I uh, hmm. wins it over, hmm. Doug. No, nope. hello, this is Vanilla Ice. Save this movie. This is the part where you boogie. This is the part where you dance. So, mutant ninja Archie goes home, gets in bed with his wife, and makes as Cuban Pete would put it. And it turns out the next day the boss of the studio, played by Stephen Wright, yeah, I can't wait to see the excitement he brings to the role, says he wants to make a cartoon series based on his character. This has potential. I mean, not to be crass about it, but this guy, this could be a franchise character. Granted, we don't make a shitty sequel after the first one. I think we can do something with this. This has that spark I was looking for. Yeah, I'm talking about a cartoon series that has Rob Paulson as most of the characters and will focus on slapstick humor that should be funny but will mostly come off as just awful. Oh, hi. Oh, yes. I remember that. Short-lived cartoon series. Yeah. But his wife has some big news, too. I think I might be... Pregnant. Yeah! And you think Bella's uh. pregnancy was freaky. Take a look at this shit. And half her insides would be powder. But let's not ruin this potentially unfunny joke. It's a boy! But the big day comes and Jamie says hi to his happy little accident. 
I'm your dad. Oh. What the oh, hell? Does Odin just do doing remarkably that. awkward segues? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Odin boring. possesses the body of another person and tells Loki that a child has been born from the mask. Find the baby, and you will find the mask. Right. <laughs> That's from Tramers. I remember that. Yeah, it's good. And Malcolm had a lot of fun with this, the didn't he? Oh, how original. No, it's clearly Rainbow Dash. Get out of there. Where do you find these people? <gasps> Is that your dad? Drag my little Don't pony culture. Don't like shitty abomination of a third season. Dad, see our life here for the entire third... Where are we going? Come wow. on, I'm going to show you an evil worse than Hasbro. Ooh, Ooh that's a statement. That's bold. I'm going to show you an evil worse than Hasbro. That's uh, that's up there, man. I'm gonna show you a shit show worse than Michael Bay. Doug, woo! Breathe, buddy. Breathe. Take a minute. Try this Michael again. just fell over. Please <laughs> have too much. Disguised as a. What the? Damn scary looking concoction of hell! I mean, guys, seriously, this is an appealing image for kids? It's like the Statue of Liberty sneezed out the Honey Nut Cheerios beak! So while Jamie reads a book clearly the screenwriters didn't read, we find it's not so easy when babies take care of babies. I'm sorry, the what? Oh, isn't that cute? He almost fed him broken glass. A common everyday mistake of your everyday likable hero. Or even better, when the wife has to go out of town for a week for her His job, arm should be shredded. I'd like to point that out. Yeah. He takes responsibility for his child. Okay. Let me tell you in great detail why this scene isn't funny. You see... <laughs> Before he even has a chance to, that... Yeah... The hell we never knew Dakota existed. Forgotten something as horrifying as this. Come on, say dada. Mother. Oh, while we're on the subject of scaring the shit out of people, you might be wondering why is the baby so concerned about scaring his father to where his wide-angle lens can't obnoxiously stretch any further? Well, it's because he wants him thrown in a mental hospital. Why? I don't know. I have no friggin' idea. It's explained about as well as why the dog wants to kill the baby. Oh, yeah, did I forget to mention that? The dog gets the mask, looks like an R. Crumb drawing of cancer, and tries to kill the Ooh. baby. Now, to its credit, they explain this a little bit by showing he wants to be the center of attention again. But, yeah, this comes out of nowhere, too. No build-up at all. I mean, is the dog looking at the baby here supposed to symbolize that he doesn't like him? Is that what you were trying to convey? How would we guess that? Everything else is shot so weird and over the top that the only thing being conveyed is the night terrors you're gonna have tonight. Yeah, for a movie that doesn't know the definition of the word subtle, you don't really explain these two things very well. The dog wants to get rid of the baby. Why? Two second image of a cartoon that actually looks more realistic than the effects you're throwing at us. Oh, and I'm yeah. not kidding. The effects when the dog is trying to get rid of the baby and the baby so cleverly outwits him is some of the worst animation you'll ever see. I mean, worse than baby geniuses. I know I can't take that back, but I'm standing by my word. It looks worse than baby geniuses. Ooh, the that's a statement. The cartoons look more three-dimensional. And Lord knows, this could benefit from some British nudity. And once again, <laughs> the images are creepy. They are so fucking creepy. It looks like every second it's on, the movie is trying to jump out and kill you. Look at the baby's face. It looks like something Gollum threw up and animated. 
Oh, and speaking of which, here's another fun image. Rather than have the eyes just stretch out like normal cartoon eyes do, mm -hmm. let's have them literally pop out of their skulls, leaving two black vacant holes where the most mm -hmm. expressive part of the face should be. Hang this picture over your baby's crib tonight. No. Holy big shit. It's scary. It's really uh, scary. God. I mean, could this movie throw any more horrendous imagery at us? Yes. Doug. Is some thin chocolate? Yeah. Christ. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Doug, you have to finish it, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to call, but you're just the only decent good person I can think of to solve this, and I... I think my DVD is possessed. Santa Claus! Oh, Santa, Santa Christ. Christ! No critics. There are a lot of bad movies out there, I assure you. That doesn't necessarily mean it's possessed. <laughs> but it's called Son of the Mask, and I just don't... Son of the Mask! Hello? Rob? Dang it, Rob. Santa Christ is, um, scared. Is it secret? Is it safe? <laughs> Damn it. Santa Christ, what are you doing? Shh, shh, shh. You have a moment. Oh, we're doing this. Hey. Good reverse shot. I like it. Yeah. Hold out your hand, critic. It's quite cool. Ah! Nope. Maybe not. Dick? <laughs> <laughs> this is the one DVD. Forged in the fires of hell and now set free from the <laughs> world. One of two things must happen. Either you must return it to its master, or you must finish watching it all the way through. Ugh. Shut up. Why don't you take it? No. I really want you to take no, it. No. Please take it. No, there's this absolutely no way I'm going to touch it. I'm giving it to you. Please take it off my hands. I'm sick of looking at it. It's probably so much misery. I mean, there's not many more that could Don't tempt me, critic. Understand, critic. If you gave me I this how many... DVD through me, it would wield a power too great and terrible to imagine. I wonder how many well, conversations so Doug and Rob actually totally have like that. You? No, it would just be really fun to use indiscriminately. No, you have a bit of a dark side. Critic, you get a little must bit finish this DVD. Hey, <sighs> I wish this piece of shit had never come to me. Yeah, I'll put it up. Don't no worry. Live to see such times, but that is not for us to decide. What kind of Gandalf shit is this? You were meant to find the DVD, and therefore you were meant to suffer, meant to go through the sort of incredible psychological pain that no force on earth could match. That is a very encouraging thought. What? No, that's not a very encouraging thought. In fact, that's about as far away from an encouraging thought an encouraging thought could get. Well, that's all I got. Here, have gremlins. Well, that's a good one. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, we all love Santa Claus. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Let me know if you want to put more Lord of the Rings anytime. Wow. Why was he here? So, Jamie tries something different for a change being a good father by at the very least changing the kid's diaper oh i think i've seen this i'm having flashbacks why are you making me think about a baby with three penises what <laughs> twisted pig shit does that Christ. So he finally finds the baby and tries to force them to tell him where the mask is. Once again, you really gotta admire his fashion sense. It must be an homage to what his kids performed on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh. But it's 
that's okay because the baby likes his dad now. Yep, right the fuck out of nowhere again with no goddamn explanation. And Odin possesses Jamie's body to tell Loki he's fed up. You are hereby stripped of your immortal powers and forever banished to the land of mortals. So he's immortal now, which doesn't add up because the baby does all this stuff and he survives it somehow. But what makes even less sense is Loki is stripped of his powers just so he can convince Odin literally in two scenes later to give them back. Yeah, just two scenes later, it's like a couple minutes. Meaning there was no point to take the powers away except to make the movie go even longer. Because, yeah, that's what I need. This freaky as fuck movie to go even longer. Let's celebrate with more creepy ass imagery. You. Is that you? No, you idiot. <laughs> Guess who? God, it's bad enough we have the Schwarzenegger baby from Junior. Uh. Can you imagine showing those two back to back? Don't show those two back to back! <laughs> Are red hots. <laughs> His mouth is red now. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the editor. I hate the editor. Get the mask back soon. He's keeping. This leads to a delightful moment where Jamie thinks his wife returned home is Loki and thus beats the loving bejesus out of her. <laughs> Domestic so they abuse, find the mask and bitch. Portray, but wouldn't you know it? In the less than three minutes of screen time, Loki decides he likes the kid now and wants to keep him forever. But the always popular crotch shot gets the mask out of his hands and back onto Jamie. Honey, I think it's time we trade up. What? So they work their way into the Charlie Sheen mobile. Actually, to be fair, that car is fucking awesome. And drive on. <laughs> Why does it have teeth? I don't know. I don't like that. what. And here he is. Oh, do you turn your wide-angle lens down? You no. can't push to maximum since frame one. And Loki said, "Let there be a brick wall." Nope. And there was. <laughs> Why didn't they make a toy out of that? It's such a charming, delightful image. I'm sure kids would watch this. Don't show it again! So they decide they're evenly matched and figure the best thing to do is let the baby decide where he goes. What? It's your I'll baby. Help. I'm your real dad. Come on, you little devil. Let's play. I'm just the mother, so clearly I have no say in this. Alvin. Ugh. If I don't look at it, it can't hurt me. If I don't look at it, it can't hurt me. I love this ain't it. voodoo. So his CG mouth chooses his father. Again, the mother, I guess, weighed no part in this decision. And we even get some family bonding with Loki and Odin. I don't know how things work in the God world, but you're his father. He's your son. And even if you banish him, he's still going to be your son. Come on, son. Let's go home. But what if he fucks hey. a horse? Okay. Duh. Why would you bring that? Well, gee, if only Jamie Kennedy were there in the Avengers. I'm sure things would have gone over much better with Loki if he was around. There is nothing more important in this entire universe than your relationship with your family. So you might as well get things right now. Nope. <laughs> Jamie Kennedy, Nordic god psychiatrist. So everything seems to be great now. Heck, Jamie even has a new idea for a TV show. A baby and a dog competing for Dan's attention. I love it. Where did you get the idea? The idea just came to me. Yeah, that does sound like a huge hit TV show, doesn't it? I did have this other dumb idea about Japanese kids collecting pocket monsters to defeat evil, but this, this is really cool. No. 
No. Oh, no. God, the evil is over. Do you is remember it? how Tarsum directed the cell, a poorly made Tarsum. movie that dived into the mind of a serial killer? Well, Tarsum got it wrong. This is the poorly made movie that dives into the mind of a serial killer! It just forgot to mention that serial killer part. Not only is the movie horribly written, awkwardly acted, filled with lame as hell effects, and using way too much goddamn wide angle lens. Yes. Scary! Scary, 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 scary! I feel unclean. I mean, I can destroy this movie all I want, but it will never get rid of the images that it has planted in here. They will haunt me forever. No one should ever have to see the terrifying terror that this movie produced. And they're not going to if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> From hell it's hot tie. Throw you the fuck out! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Wait. No. Oh my God. He's playing again. He's going over and over and over. Oh my God. Can somebody stop it? Can somebody stop it? Stand back, critic. Santa Christ. I'll handle this. Will you? you Remotely out of batteries. I am a servant of the secret Oscar. Wielder of the thumbs of our Lord. CGI shall not avail you. Film of boredom. Go back to the cutting room. Wow. There it is. Really? <laughs> Damn it. Well, I got nothing. You One. shall not including now. play! Here, have Game of Thrones. Which season? Oh. Huh. Wait, what? Uh, yep. Another typical viewing. G-Boy! Santa Christ. <laughs> How's it going, my man? Oh, not bad at all. You? Oh, not bad. Just picking up a movie for my dog. <laughs> Hello, little Evelina. Hello. So, still trying to take over the world with that little Twitter invention of yours? Hey, tell me it's not making people dumb. <laughs> tell me it's not making them easier to conquer. Oh, well, everything seems to be in order here. Give my best to the missus. Why? I never do. <laughs> what a character. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's so blasphemous. Come on, honey. Oh, please! Please kill me. It's the only sensible thing to do after showing me these horrible, horrible images. Please! Death is the only salvation! What do you think, kiddo? Dark circles under his eyes are legendary. Him? Nah, I think it's crueler to leave him alive. That's my girl. You do your daddy proud. Anyway, they tried that before. Didn't go over very well. Huh. So they did. So they did. Oh, Doug. I'm sorry, bud. I am nostalgic, it, Craig. I remember it. Because it'll never go away! Now, behold my pitiful parasites. The true depths of darkness. What? That's my girl. That was a little weird. A little? Ugh! Criminy! Ugh! Be glad that you can't see the TV. Yeah, okay. 
Just come east. No, no, no. It's okay, little buddy. It's okay. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. Yep. Words not functioning. Micah, how you doing over there? You doing okay? I'm okay. We're fine. Yeah. Uh. Well, uh. Nate is pretty much done. I I have Elena, no words. You, uh... I have literally no words. How strange. Um. I've never seen that movie, by the way. I'm. Uh... Are you glad Elena, you didn't? Elena's oh, yeah. still processing. Um. I f- I feel like. Like I had like weird I had a weird flashback with the whole peeing thing. I think maybe I've seen this movie and my my brain blocked it out. That's probably for the best. Like I remember that peeing scene. Oh. Ah! Did that help? No, it never does. I'm sure as hell yeah, not going to do yeah, it. I'm good. I'm good now. Oh, I'm not going to try it. Okay. So, all right. So, so here's where we're at. I'm good. I'm good. Elena is now realizing that she may have seen this movie before. It's I'm so right. sorry. It's I am as well. Uh, Nate. Oh. Nate's just broken. <sighs> Micah's Mi- fine. Micah, I think, is probably shielded by either divinity or Lord. espresso. Maybe a little of both. Maybe, maybe, some, maybe, maybe both. His righteous anger when people say espresso. There it is. <laughs> Uh, uh, he's Chico, fueled by rage. Chico is not I think capable it's of too. actually seeing far enough to see the TV. He just saw play. shapes. Oh, he can heal guy. Uh, and I see worse things anytime I close my eyes. So Good on night, that bombshell, it's time to end. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>